My guest today began his professional acting career at the age of 18 and landed a national commercial after his second audition. His wife, who was also here, did her first exclusive interview with O.J. Simpson after he was acquitted. This ought to be an interesting interview and you don't want to miss it, right here on Faith on Film. Hello and welcome to Faith on Film. Uh, very excited about today's show because you're going to get two for the price of one. Uh, but let me introduce Tommy first. Tommy Lee Thomas is an actor, writer, producer. He has produced, co-written, and acted in five feature films to date, the latest of which is currently on Amazon Prime with Kevin Sorbo called One More Round. He's been married to Mindy for more than 22 years and has had his 11-year-old daughter, Charlotte. And he's here with his wife, Mindy. Tommy, Mindy, hello. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Faith on Film. Hi, Hi, Isaac. It's so great to be with you. There is so much going on in our country and in yeah, entertainment. There is. So I, I'm just curious where you're going to get started with us tonight. Good to see you, Isaac. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Well, first of all, now I had a whole bio here for Tommy, but I really didn't have anything for you, Mindy. So maybe you should tell us a little bit about who you are. Please. Okay. Yes, I am Mindy. <laughs> Charlotte Thomas. So my mm -hmm. middle name, uh, thus Charlotte, is our daughter, and uh -huh. she is 11 and a half. Um, I am born and raised in the South in Texas, and I grew up playing a lot of different sports, but in junior high, it was when we uh, discovered the VHS cameras, if you remember those. Oh, yes. so I'm dating myself a little bit, and by the way, I need to get a new VHS uh, I recorded, but we can talk about that afterward. But well, uh, see, I yeah. I started when it was the little uh, eight millimeter cameras that you actually had to wind. So uh -huh. you're not you're not so far back there. Okay, cutting <laughs> and splicing and all these things, yeah. Because um, now you just pick up the cell phone. Yep. And these kids like Charlotte can edit, and she's so talented with so singing amazing. and all these things. And of course, she's in the movie with us. So when we did the film one more round, it mm -hmm. was such a blessing because. This is like a lifetime of um, performing on camera or um, performing in some way. Really, when I was growing up, it was more sports that I had right. my identity in, in golf. And then when uh, my dream got shattered with that, God just made a way for me to get a broadcasting scholarship. And I also minored in theater from Pepperdine University. So um, where there doesn't seem to be a way, God will make a way. He is faithful to you today. And right. so I just... I'm so thankful for the reminder that when we're in pain, we can go to him, that we're never too far from him. And so these are just uh, real solid truths that I've learned over the years after getting my heart shattered and uh, broken. And Did you break her heart? Let me chime in right there. So, so I've been married to Mindy since 1995. Okay. And, her, and, and she wanted to be uh, a broadcaster after we got married. Her very first interview was with O.J. Simpson. Which oh, wow. aired on interview to uh, which aired on interview start. Yeah, it aired on Entertainment Tonight a couple mm -hmm. of years ago for the first time. It was kind of a time capsule in a way because here I had one of my own talk show like you mm -hmm. at Pepperdine when I was studying there, and Tom and I were driving down the four hundred five, and he said, uh, "What about uh, interviewing O.J. Simpson for your first talk show? Because that way people can get an idea of who you are and this sort of thing." Well. Every yeah. journalist in the world of wanted course. to interview uh, Simpson at the time because it was after the criminal and civil trials and he had been evicted from his home. Nevertheless, we would go over there and just kind of uh, with our, I guess, grassroots sort of gut ambition, we uh, sort of staked out. And also, the very last day, Tom said, okay, we've been over there about a dozen times. Um, he said he'd do the interview with us. There's a backstory to this. But long story short, um, I think we've gone over there enough, and I prayed about it, and I heard the Lord say, today is the day. So there's a reason, an eternal reason uh, for this, and so it, uh, it was just a couple of years ago that we decided to share it publicly. Of course, people had approached me, entertainment shows, and um, and I've been acting roles, uh, I don't know how many I've had to turn down because of my values and convictions, but uh, so, so this film that my husband produced uh, is just an amazing um a beacon of light, I think, to a lot of people that we heard from feedback because it's a family uh, event. A lot of times in Hollywood, it's not popular to work with you know people that you're related to, although there is a lot of nepotism, as we all well know. <laughs> and that's fine by that, but we don't have people um, that we're uh, stepping into their shoes, so to speak. And so God is making a way for us to be who we are in this world. 
Uh, now we're talking about one more round there, right? Yes. All right. Yes. Now, so you guys worked on this together then? We did. We did. Um, I, I came up with the idea to do one more round, which is our fifth movie. We've done several movies before this, four to be exact, and a lot of commercials, TV shows. But Mind Mindy was a broadcast journalist. She, she was a journalism uh, major at Pepperdine. She became a reporter at CBS, had a great career in that, and then she gave that up to start our family. And so we decided to produce movies together. And so we did one more round with Kevin Sorbo, Jeremy London, T.C. Stallings, and we all worked on it together. But... It was based on the scripture Proverbs twenty four sixteen, which is a righteous man falls seven times, okay. but rises again. And uh, that scripture came to me when Mindy was actually interviewing uh, Kirk Cameron a few a few years ago. They were talking, and, and that scripture came out. So uh, we wrote a script. I raised the money. We sent the script to Kevin Sorbo. He immediately said he would do it, and we made the deal. We shot the movie in about uh, very very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, the movie is on uh, Amazon Prime. It's on Pure Flix. It was on Parables for a season, yes. Isaac, and and it was uh, released on Daystar Television. Thanks to you, Isaac, who got us to deal with Daystar. I, I always like to remember that because if it wasn't for you, the movie would have never been released on television. Wow. But it was released on Daystar Television as a movie of the week. <laughs> and it, by the way, I think it ended up being number one in the ratings that week. Oh, nice. nice. All nice. right. Well, that's, so we're. Sort of uh, have between the two of us, we have about fifty years of experience wow. in entertainment. I didn't and, realize I was that old. Well, it's between the two of us, and so um, I just you divide believe, that by four. Yeah, we'll yeah. just see okay. if, uh, if we're supposed to be led to do more of uh, Christian media, or if there's another avenue. You know, things are heating up in politics. You never know. Wow. Well, I tell you what, we're going to take a quick break right now. When we come back. Let's talk to see if there's something outside of media in politics. That's, this is new to me, by the way. I, I, I know you guys, you're friends of mine, but this is the first time I hear this. So maybe we'll talk a little bit about that. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Sunflowers, to pollinate and reproduce, they turn and face the sun. Nature's way of reminding us that for ultimate growth, we must seek the light. Parables, the leader in empowering entertainment. Parables, be empowered. Start your free trial today. Got a postcard from the grandkids. They went to the ark. Yeah, what does it say? Well, Annie says they had a blast and that it's really, really big. Everything looks big to a six-year-old. Well, Hudson says it's even bigger than the castle. It can't be that big. Can it? Go ahead, think bigger. Welcome back to Faith on Film. We're here with uh, Tommy Lee and Mindy Thomas, um, and they apparently just made an announcement right now. I don't know. <laughs> that's uh, that's something I haven't heard of. So, Tommy, what in the world is she talking about here? Uh, politics. <laughs> the, the, well, this is new to me. Uh, my, my wife has always been very, very ambitious all these years, and uh, I... I uh, 
We have a friend that's uh, running for Congress right now. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and tell about that. Dr. John Perry on the East Coast. Okay. And they're obviously not too far from Washington. They're in North Carolina in the 3rd Congressional District. And as you might well know right now, there's a lot of women who are stepping up to run for Congress and to try and make a difference in the government right in now. Life. And pro-life. Uh, life begins at conception. Yes. And so this... Um, this cry out uh, from the from the underbelly of our country, if you will, the, the babies um, that that we're hearing their voices crying out, and so someone's got to step up, and uh, people are stepping up, and so we're just so grateful for that. And yeah. she has a, been a pediatrician her whole life, and so I'm totally inspired. And I would love to play a politician in a film, but if God has other plans for me. No, I, I no, think I, I think my wife's too. gonna end up being a politician someday. We'll see what happens. I, we'll see what happens. See, I uh, was thinking I, that maybe you were gonna run for president or something. Oh, that's <laughs> very no, I, I'm gonna keep making movies. That, I'm gonna keep making movies. That's we're, good because after all, on. this show is called Faith on Film. So, right, <laughs> okay. right. so, no, but no. no, that that's interesting. What what you got? What you talked about there? Because while it seems that 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 uh, you know the 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 pro-choice movement is really coming on strong right now. We're also seeing that there's been a change in some states where they're actually uh, bringing in laws that are pro-life. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's uh, it's exciting. I think that uh, that there's like you say, there's women that are now you know coming up in politics that are pro-life uh, pro-life women. Yeah, it's very very exciting. I think my wife may end up being one of those eventually someday. We'll see what happens. We'll see what God does. But for right now, we're we're supporting our friend John Perry for Congress, July 9th okay. in North Carolina. Um, um, but, you know, Isaac, so I'm very, very excited about uh, this new movie, Mercy Wars, which I okay. think you've read the script. Yes, yes, yes. So and it, uh, that's, that's going to be your next project? I think it's going to be our next project. It's a really good script. It deals with uh, human trafficking. And uh, we've developed a few different projects, but this is the one that I think I'm most passionate about. And we've got a, a producer that we both have worked with uh, numerous times in the past. He's a really solid guy. He's got his own production company. He's got his own financing. He loves the script. And um, I think we're going to probably move forward on that one. I, I will make an official announcement when, we're, when we sign the contract. But okay. I, I, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure it's going to be green light within the next few weeks. Oh, that's fantastic. And now, unless Mindy... And I've got a good part for you, by the way, Isaac. Me? Yeah, really? you. Well, yeah, there's a part where the, one, of my, one of my friends gets uh, shot to death. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow, I'm wow. the one that's gonna get shot to death. Well, don't worry, it's all squid. It's just make believe. Don't oh, worry, oh, it's make believe. So, so should I should I practice my my dying? Oh. Just practice oh. falling down about fifteen wow. times. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. perfect. Yeah, you know, uh, that should that should be fun. Now, so unless Mindy takes off and uh, and joins the the political movement here, she's gonna be helping you with this movie, right? Yeah, it's. A, I I hope I hope she will. I mean, the, the script is such that it's it deals. It's a family. It's a it's a husband, a wife, and a daughter, and it's about a cop who's dealing with post traumatic stress syndrome. He's lost his faith in God. He's about to just like go off the deep end, forget about his family, but all of a sudden he gets called back into a mission to rescue this girl who's been mm -hmm. kidnapped by these human traffickers. So it's actually a really really. Uh, I think it's a really strong script. We've gone through multiple revisions, and um, we've received financing offers from several different entities. But this is—I I, want to work with people that I really trust, right. that I know that will have the vision that we believe that God's given us. Because at the end of the day, we're here to serve God and ourselves at this point. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I right. think it's going to go forward very quickly. And I Pro can't... probably by the end of the summer, we'll be in pre-production. Yeah. Of yes, course, it's so... right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ahead. Uh, just so many people have been sexually abused and just those experiences in my own life, for example, that still resonate, they can still haunt me. I can only imagine human trafficking and uh, those uh, just intensified situations where the young girls, once they're rescued, of course, it's a long journey after that. And I think to embrace that and understand what we need to do as a culture to bring them into a safe house and to continue to provide a safe future for them would be really totally awesome. So if we do a movie about this, I think it'll help in some small exactly. way. I mean, there's been multiple human trafficking films made, anti, right. but we think that this film, ha it's a touch of 80s action nostalgia mixed with current 
a day human trafficking facts wrapped up in a faith-based message. And we just had a meeting recently with an actor you probably would know, Gary Busey. He was in Lethal Weapon. He was in The Firm. He's been all kinds of movies. He's very, very interested in this project with us. Mindy and I met with him for lunch, and he wants to work with us. And so, I mean, we haven't made a deal with him yet, but we're we're real close. So there's there's good things happening, Isaac. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. And, uh, you know, I I will be praying for you and for this movie, right? Thank you. Thank you, Isaac. Thank Thanks you, the God pleasure. You. Thanks, Thanks for there. everything, Isaac. We'll be right back. You know, I never realized how much work goes into taking care of horses. You think that's hard? Try taking care of thousands of animals at the same time. Think bigger. Cell reproduction. More than duplication. It's careful selection and organization, ensuring the perfect balance for development and growth. Powerful. So is our programming. Parables. The leader in empowering entertainment. Parables. Be empowered. Start your free trial today. I wonder how long a dolphin lives. I wonder if they can make cookies in space. I wonder when people start brushing their teeth. I wonder if people and dinosaurs ever lived together. Wanna find out? I wonder how much a cloud weighs. Welcome back to Faith on Film. I'm excited because I'm bringing you another edition of Holly on Hollywood. Holly, yes, how yeah, are you? Good to join you again, as Thank always. You. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to be loving, I can tell, I'm going to be loving these, these segments with you because uh, I want to know all about the Hollywood movies. Um, now, <laughs> the, the latest update. Exactly. Now, there is a movie that I think came out maybe about one or two weeks ago. But uh, it has just been the buzz for probably months before it even came out. Uh, I want to know all about it. What movie is that? That is The Lion King. The and, and Lion King. And I'm telling King. you, it, was the, it is <laughs> the buzz. And a lot of people have been waiting for it. You know, it's interesting, Isaac, when I've been on red carpets in the last few months, uh, even the last year, a year ago, um, I would ask stars, what was your favorite movie when you were growing up, your favorite children's movie? And they would all say Lion King. I mean, unanimously, that has come in with millennials and adults that even, in, you know, people in their 20s and 30s. You know, The Lion King was out 25 years ago. So it has seen a whole generation now it's come to fruition. Been that and long? so in looking, yeah, 25 years ago was the animated version. So, yes, that makes sense. They all grew up watching that movie over and over. Well, now the big buzz is, of course, Beyonce and uh, Donald Glover. He's not Danny Glover's son. He's Donald Glover. And uh, those are just a few of the voices that we're going to be seeing. You know, Disney's debt has dominated the box office this summer. I mean, they have dominated it. Um, Starting back with Captain Marvel and the Avengers and Toy Story, Mm -hmm. you know, and Aladdin. Look at those, just those movies alone. They've had right. huge box office, um, Toy Story, Aladdin, and now The Lion King. So they have dominated the whole summer, really. And uh, all the movie theaters uh, and and uh, studios know it as well. Um, they've got um, Caleb Deschanel directing. 
And for those of you who, well, who's Caleb Deschanel? Did you ever see The Passion of the Christ? Of course. Well, if you saw that movie, you saw the, the, the director of photography, Caleb Deschanel. He was on that. And I worked with him for two months. An amazing talent. I literally would sit there and watch how he would film. And he has done this movie. Now, it's called a live action and CGI movie. But there's nothing live in it. <laughs> it's so, not like there's a live it's still lion all animated. or tiger. And well, there's nothing, yeah, there's nothing lion, li live in it. But it's CGI live animated is what they're calling it. Um, live uh, action, I should say. But Caleb Deschanel is the director of DP. And for those of you who saw the movie Elf, his daughter, okay, yeah, Deschanel, she was in that. Yeah, she was in that and she played it. So Zoe Deschanel, for those of you who know that. Uh, John Favreau is the director, and once again, a little trivia on John Favreau, he directed Elf, and he's done the first um, uh, Jungle Book, which was the first live action that Disney did to kind of test the waters to see how this would work. So now he's on helm again for directing The Lion King, and watch John Favreau. He started off years ago as an actor and doing comedy, comedy club, and then he worked into movies, and now he's not only executive producing producing directing starring in he's happy the avengers movies the avengers end game and those avengers movies mm -hmm. he's that character happy in iron man but he also directs and produces so keep an eye on him i see him as the premier family filmmaker for this generation and he has got the vision and the talent and he is going above and beyond so keep an eye on john favreau the director and uh, also he directed up, like I said, which is my favorite, one of my favorite movies. Um, James Earl Jones, Hans Zimmer, Elton John, and Tim Rice. They're the original people that were the voices or people involved in the first. But now, of course, like I said, Donald Glover and Beyonce. And um, it's going to have songs from the Broadway hit. So some of the songs that people have seen on Broadway will be included. And so it, everyone is really excited about this movie. It is... Um, uh, interestingly enough, Isaac, and I, I don't want to keep, I'll, if you want to interrupt me and ask me something, go ahead. I don't want to, you know, just keep talking. But Yeah, my, my question on that was, I, I noticed that a lot of the, the movies that Disney's uh, remaking, let's say, and they're doing them as, as uh, live action films, have become a lot darker than, say, their original films that came out. Is, is that the case with Lion King? When I say darker, I mean, they're strictly. literally, yeah, go ahead. Right. They have, they have stuck strictly with a script. Oh. And although it did make many a child sad to see what happened to Mufasa and the and you know what happened to the father, I should say, right. and uh, the whole struggle with Scar and Mufasa, yes, that's in there. But I think it's and so that's going to feel realistic. But if they've seen the animated, it's mm -hmm. the same thing. It's the same storyline as the Broadway. They've not okay. veered off from that. It's going to probably feel a little darker because it feels like it's real. Right. You know, I mean, you think there's real lions. <laughs> this looks so real, Isaac. You're like, wow, where'd they get a monkey that could talk? Where'd they get a lion that could talk? It feels that real. So it's going to it's gonna impact a lot of little kids. are going to think, wow, there's a lion that can talk over in Africa because it looks like that. Um, but yes, no, it's. I don't think it's any darker. They didn't okay. add anything else other than songs. That's what they added from Broadway, the songs. Um Interestingly enough, since 25 years, this is just some fun facts to know, since the 25 years ago when the first one came out, um, half of the lions in the wild are gone. So there are only 20,000 lions left because wow. of over half. Since this movie came out, half mm -hmm. are gone. So Disney is partnering with Protect the Pride, okay. and it's a new group, Protect the Pride, and they're going to Africa, and they're actually going to protect lions and try to rebuild the numbers of lions now in the wild and protect them. So there's some good things coming out of this right. movie that is going to carry on, that will carry on in our culture and in our society, and kids can get behind that. So anyway, I'm very excited about it. I think it's, you know, it's obviously, if people have already seen it, they're going to see it two and three times because kids are going to want to go see it right. two and three times. It's that kind of movie. Great. So once again, how can people uh, follow you and how can they get your reviews that you do for uh, for the Hollywood movies? I, my weekly reviews are on thelaundrymom.com, 
And so my, my weekly reviews are featured on there. And also they can also email me if they want to. I would love to hear from you. And it's Holly McClure one at gmail.com. And please email me. I'd love to hear questions or comments from you. Holly McClure one at gmail.com. And you know, my saying is always remember, choose your movies wisely. There you go. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Thank you, Holly. Sunflowers. To pollinate and reproduce, they turn and face the sun. Nature's way of reminding us that for ultimate growth, we must seek the light. Parables. The leader in empowering entertainment. Parables. Be empowered. Start your free trial today. I wonder if penguins have knees. I wonder how many colors we can't see. I wonder why there's so many stars in the universe. I wonder if we ever looked like apes. You want to find out? I wonder if puppies have belly buttons. Welcome back to Faith on Film. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's program. I thank you for tuning in. Uh, I do want to encourage you to check out uh, parables.tv, a place where you'll be able to watch a lot of the great Christian movies, documentaries, uh, children's shows, all kinds of great content for your family. And they, of course, are our sponsor to this show. So go out and check them out. Again, it's uh, parables.tv. Uh, and of course, uh, I, I'd like to hear from you. So write me at faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. That's faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. Until next week, take care. Thank you.